But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. I love you. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Oh yeah, I was, I was saying before, but like, you, like before getting a, inter interrupted by something, um, I'm assuming that this game is going to ultimately play out, or did I say it? I, I completely forget if I actually said this or not, but um, I'm assuming that um, this game's going to play out like the, uh, like Jill's scenario is going to play out like uh, Chris's in that, oh god, oh god, that goes fast, that goes fast, let's uh, dear lord, um, at the end, like Chris is going to be like captured. We're going to have to like save him. By getting like emotisks or whatever. And it's going to be optional. So we got to get the good ending by saving Chris. Hello. Goodbye. Probably going to go back the go back down there like immediately and try to get in that door behind him. Pretty sure that's a save room. Christ, I didn't see that one. Save room. Broken shotgun. Hmm. I think I remember that that from somewhere. Like I remember Like I remember this, but um Oh I think we gotta probably gonna put it back. We need to put the broken shotgun where the non-broken shotgun is. Now we gotta... Introduce to, um, save, um, save rooms here, or like, the, uh, chest or whatever. Get these clips out. I think I'll keep everything with me though for now. I'm seriously tempted to just use the uh, the first aid spray because I don't want to have health that low. Like, does that seriously mean that that Jill just can't take three zombies? Like three zombie hits that was killer. I want that. I want the, those herbs. You're gonna die, die! Nice. I keep pressing um circle to um bring up the inventory. I'm too slow. Code Veronica. Is that one dead? Seems so. Okay, I'll keep it with me, right? And um, if I come into too much trouble, I think I'll... Maybe mix them and use them. Hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm like not off to like a really bad start, because it kind of seems that way. Oh dear. Also, I just want to voice my opinion. Um, if anyone is... Can I hit it? No. Alright then. If anyone's like curious or whatever, like if you see this and you're curious about like checking out my original LP of this, I'll recommend don't... Oh, nice! Oh dear, and I'm doing good. I'm pretty vocal. Right, I'll interruption there, but um I'm fairly vocal about not really
enjoying or not really being proud of, should I say, my earlier LPs. And not only like am I returning, oh god, oh nice, I am getting so lucky. Not only, only am I like returning to this, just like to return to it because I really miss this game, but it's really just like to, in a way, oh god, die, die, nice. In a way to um, make sure are you, are you dead? Oh god, no! I'm just gonna run away. To give the game a bit more justice than I think I gave it the first time around. Ooh, look where we are. Pretty sure I'm. I'm pretty sure uh, back here is the uh, the crow room, I believe. I think originally there was actually a key in that little uh, painting, so I am sort of like remembering stuff. So like the director's cut is sort of helping to add to the blindness of not really knowing where to go. Hey buddy, how you doing? What the hell is that? I'm not sure if that was in the original game, was it? You know, I'm just gonna use the first stage break to be honest. The bazoot what? I think that might just be a. Uh, oh god! A lot of times when I say original game, oh dear lord, I I just mean Chris's scenario. You dead? Oh my god! Oh dear, get off me! Christ! Mount caution? Yes. Oh my, that's not good. Like if, if I can just get taken down to caution that easily, that's bad. I can't carry any more keys or any more items. Can never have too too much keys. Just mix them. Like some safe standing might come into effect later on. Cause if if I can just be killing three hits, that's that's pretty crazy. Armor, nice. So that uh, unlocks a good amount of the areas that we cannot go to. But I am very. Let me just use this for a second. Seems like more of a grenade launcher than a bazooka, but that's still pretty messed up. I don't. I'm pretty sure yeah, Chris didn't get that at all. I don't think. Ain't that messed up. Oh, hello. My good old friend. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. <laughs> really? Whoa. <laughs> this hall is dangerous. Whoa. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Indeed. Um, I'm gonna try not to, um... Because I've seen a lot of, like, survival horror ga game let's plays or whatever. And... I'm I'm somewhat, actually, to be, like, to be, in my opinion... Um, I'm actually kind of put off, like, when the dude basically, like, just non-stop is quoting Barry. Like... It just kind of gets kind of annoying, so I'm gonna try like not to. Like whenever Barry says something pretty like flabbergasting, I will acknowledge it, but I will not acknowledge it later on. If that makes sense. 
If I remember the bosses of this game, I remember Giant Snake, I remember Plant 42, I remember Tyrant, I remember... I think that's it, actually. Is it? You know what? I think I'm being too gun guns a-blazing here. Um, oh god. Oh dear lord. Oh, I didn't know that you were there. So I need to get that statue. I'll kill you and that's it. Yeah, one thing, this, the uh, director's cut... Oh no. The director's cut adds... Um, oh, this is not... So I'm just going to try to rethink how I'm going to do this. Because the director's cut adds auto-aim, which is what is apparently taken out of... It was in the original version, like the Japanese biohazard, it was in there. But it was taken out in, in the North American release, for whatever reason. So I'll get you on the ground, and I'll push you. Oh, God. You know what? Oh God. I was keep I was pressing the wrong button to get the freaking uh Oh man. Oh dear lord, I was only on caution and he killed me. Let me test out how my knife does. Cause I'm fairly on low on ammo. This is gonna be very intense. Oh, I just unequipped it. How smart am I? You're dead. <clears throat> now, I believe... Originally, that would give us a... A piece of a metal, I think. I want to say some sort of like emblem. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, I think that's... what? Can't carry any more items. I'll be damned. Let's actually, let's head back here. I probably won't actually won't be recording that much longer. I'm gonna actually stop it here in a bit, because uh, it's getting quite late. Kenneth from Star's Bravo Team. He's become a mere shadow of his former self. It's quite sad. I remember, uh, I want to say one of these rooms was has a piano in it. That's all I remember, really. Um, where Rebecca Chambers would play. Yay. Right, when I get it to a safe room or whatever, I want to... Um, I'll dump the bazooka. You know, piano, nice. But I am... I'm very cautious now about Jill's health. Um, I, I understood that she was weaker than Chris, but I did not under, understand that she was that much weaker than Chris. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, I just can't care like anything now. So let me, let me see. So that means that Chris could only carry six. That that sucks, really. Like looking at this, right? I just gotta. I I'm just imagining. Just I'm taking like I'm covering up like the bottom row with my like with my finger or whatever, and I'm just imagining, like that's what 
I did the, the entire first LP with. I just, it seems so. It seems like so little. Oh, Jill. Jillian. If you, if you want to be smart, we should just uh, hop up on this table here and uh, snipe the zombies above. I think I'm gonna call it there, guys. I just, I just wanted to get this started a bit, cause um, like I, I didn't really intend to record too much longer. I'm not sure if this was. It was definitely, I was sort of expecting, like, knowing, or hearing that Jill was supposedly a lot easier, or, like, had more firepower slash, I, I don't know, I just didn't remember the game being that difficult, I guess I would say, maybe. Because Jill's taking a lot of damage, I'm not sure if, that's got to really blow me away, I didn't think it would be that, I don't know, I'll, I'll prob probably get used to it, and, um, we'll be, we'll slowly get, um, back into the grind or whatever. I think next time we'll prob probably most likely uh our goal would be to clear up our inventory a bit um find ammo because that's always very very nice um dump the uh, broken shotgun on that rack or whatever to um unlock to I guess bring it bring the ceiling back up and also listen to Mr. Uh, Barry Burton say some more incredible things but um until then this has been more Resident Evil Blind, Jill Scenario, Director's Cut, whatever I'm going to call it, probably just call it, let's play Resident Evil Blind, Jill, um, hope you enjoyed, and, um, I am very, very eager to get back into, into this game, because, uh, it was definitely, definitely sort of a, um, foundation for me, um, on my Let's Plays. So, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, should I say, um, as I said, hope you all enjoyed, see you guys next time, liquid out.